now that I went ahead and did my brows, I used my BH Cosmetics Trio Palette and I cleaned it up using my Studio Finish Concealer by MAC and I'm in the shade NW30. So, so now that I did my brows and I allowed the primer to sink into the skin, now I'll go ahead and put my foundation on. So like I said from the beginning, I'm using my L'Oreal Magic Lumi foundation and I'm in the shade DW7. I usually use about three pumps. So one, two, three. To apply my foundation on my face, I usually use my, I don't know what you call this, kabuki brush. This is the angled one that I'm using. And first I'll take the foundation and just put it all over, dot it all over my face. And I really love this foundation. I mean, I am a die-hard MAC foundation girl. I love my MAC foundations. It was hard for me to actually, like, take away from that and try a different foundation. Which I have some more foundations I want to try, like the Double Wear from Estee Lauder. I want to try that foundation and maybe the Kat Von D one. I would spray my brush with my Fix Plus. And then I'll go ahead and tap my foundation in. As you can see, I'm tapping and pushing it in and not like rubbing it or going in circular motions. I'm literally just tapping this foundation all over my face. I find when you do it this way, it prevents all those lines and streaks that you would normally get from like pulling or rubbing the foundation in. I'll come down to the neck. So the remainder that usually would be on my hand, I would take it with a brush and just use that for the neck and that's it. I won't use any more product, just three pumps is usually good for me. That's how I'll put my foundation on. As you can see, it's very luminous and that's what I love about the foundation because I'm, I'm more into luminous foundations than matte foundations. So for concealer, of course, this is not new. I usually go in with my Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm in the shade NW35. So you should take about a pump, a pump and a half. And I'll put this under the eyes and I'll be using my fingers in the corner of my nose because I do have a little bit of redness in the corner of my nose. And a little bit in the corner of the mouth. And usually I put a little bit at the side here because I have a little bit of um, like bumps there from treading I guess. So I'll usually conceal that just a bit. There's nothing much. This foundation is actually pretty good in covering. So there's not much concealer that I use now using this foundation that I did before. I'll go back in with the same brush and spritz it again with the Fix Plus. And I'll start to tap this concealer out under my eye. And usually the remainder that's on the brush, I will bring it up. I'll, br whoop, I'll bring it up onto the lid. And that's it for concealer. Now to set under the eyes and wherever I've just placed the concealer, I'll be going in with my Graftobia setting powder 
and this one is in banana cream pie it's from Sigma and this one is a tapered highlighting brush this is the small one this one is the F35 so I'll just be tapping tapping this powder under the eye this is basically just to prevent the concealer from creasing and basically just set it from falling into those fine lines that we all have under the eyes corner of the nose the chin wherever we place that concealer and as you can see the concealer already started settling into my eyelids so I'll just blend that out and then just put a little bit of powder there and the same thing with this side and I'll be going in with a stippling brush this is a large one and just start to brush that powder away I know some people would wait a couple of minutes or whatever to let the powder settle in but I don't I just as soon as I'm finished I would brush it up brush the powder off and that's it that's pretty much how I do my foundation and of course in the end to take away a little bit of that cakiness that you, you would get from the foundation all the powder and all that I would just go ahead and spray the face and that's it that's the end of my updated foundation routine I do have a review on these brushes that I bought about a year ago and I have all four or, or all five of them the wrong one the flat one this angled one and the tapered one four of them so I do have a review on these brushes so so I do have a review on all four of these brushes these are said to be dupes to the Sigma ones and these work so well it's crazy so if you guys want to see me do a updated review on these brushes because for this video for the brush for the video that I did reviewing these brushes I've gotten a lot of feedback, a lot, a lot of feedback from that um, particular video. And that was like a year ago. And everyone's still asking me about the brushes and stuff. So if you guys want to see an updated um, review, how the brushes held up after a year of use or anything like that, just um, leave a comment below and I'll go right ahead and do a updated review on the brushes. Like just to see how the brushes held up. If they were worth it and stuff like that that's it that's the end of my foundation routine or I should say my updated version so I will go right I'll go ahead put the rest of my face makeup on and I'll see you guys in my next one bye